It was the first years of 1600 when pharmacist and botanist Basilius Besler, under commission to the Archbishop of Eichstadt, began to make the Hortus estatensis, perhaps the most fascinating of herbariums. The herbarium reproduces 1,084 plants in the botanical garden of the Archbishop's see, in the intent to present and illustrate how to distinguish the various varieties of ornamental and curative plants. The herbarium is outstanding for its beauty and the importance of its iconography, realized using the principal art techniques of the Renaissance. Quite noteworthy is the wise use of chiaroscuro, color, and the perspective technique. The technique used for the 367 tables is calcography on copper, entrusted to the best drawers and engravers of the time. Of the 300 copies originally printed, only a few were entrusted to worthy painters of the time to be colored, as coloring by hand was very costly. Of these very rare polychromous works that we have carefully examined, the copy conserved at Eichstadt is the most beautiful that has come down to us complete. Some of the painters who colored the tables, realizing the prestige of the work they were engaged in, set their signatures or monograms on them. The facsimile reproduction we are presenting was ordered by the Avoca Museum, faithfully respecting the characteristics of the original conserved in the library of Eichstadt. The three imperial folio volumes reproduce the format, weight, and paper of the originals. The 32 millimeter paper is between chain lines as the original. The binding, nerves, and edges have been done in the old fashion with handcrafted expertise. Even the reproduction of the valuable ex libris has been respected, along with the dry tooling on the precious cover in facsimile parchment. A statement of authenticity appears in the colophon of every volume. As evidenced in the aforementioned colophon, the work is printed in 1,500 numbered copies using a modern photographic and digital technology that has made it possible to realize a superb facsimile reprint capable of striking our senses with the same emotions of the original. The Hortus estetensis stands out for a unique feature. The plants are presented in the order of their flowering in the four seasons. The title page introduces us into this earthly paradise of flowery, luxuriant plants. The pages that introduce the seasons repeat the same design, abounding in objects and instruments, typical of spices, but with four different colorings. The classes, in turn, are divided into orders. The orders contain groupings made along various criteria, which can be either morphological or concern flowering. Here comes spring with an array of buttercups, anemones, hyacinths, and tulips, 
recently imported from Turkey. The imperial crowns deserve a table all their own. Then comes the superb series of old roses. The numerous medicinal plants include the scylla, the hepatica, and the magical mandragora. summer emerged the Althea, the Martagon lily on two pages, the gladioluses, the imperial floss solis, medicinal plants include valerian, Alice, chamomile, the mallows, as for aromatic plants, basil, and sage, and finally, the multicolored array of poppies. plants that have just arrived from the Americas to arouse great curiosity in 17th century gardens. Tomatoes, peppers, also from the Americas come the superb melocactus, aloe, artichokes, and the uncontainable prickly pear. Winter ends this splendid parade with the hellebore, and the borage. The commentarium is an integral part of the work. Realized in three languages, Italian, German, and English, its 286 folio pages also present several exhaustive essays concerning the work's botanical, artistic, historical, and bibliographic aspects. It represents all of the images of plants with historical anecdotal notes. For a convenient placement of the Hortus Estetensis volumes, and to set them off in style, a table in old oak is offered. The faithful reproduction of a 17th century Sienese specimen surmounted by a plexiglass lectern to display and consult the large volumes. 
Also in plexiglass is the case that has been added to contain Besler's precious volumes, the commentary, and other art books. The scientific elaboration of this work has been conducted by five authors, giving this precious reproduction a modern scientific significance. <laughs>